Okay, in this video, I'll explain you that how our battery management system works. So the system that we have designed right now that is basically designed on a peak IC that is peak 1, 8, F2, 3, 2, 1 something IC. So the thing as you can see that I have connected a LCD display with my controller and there is basically a battery circuit over here as well and this circuit will show you that actual voltages that are uh, that we are providing to, to the system this one is the circuit that will basically it, it drop the voltage so that the arduino can uh, sorry the pick can measure it and there is an ampere meter as well this is the current sensor and a protection relay as well and this one is the load and you can also see that i have also added a temperature sensor as well so there are basically three kinds of reading that matters that is voltage is current and temperature so as i run the simulation you can see that my battery voltage is 50 volts so let's say if i run it on 50 volts 50 volts so you can see that um, it is saying 50 volts 1.72 amps 86 watt this is uh, the temperature and this is uh, state of charge uh, st state of health and each and everything over here so now let's say if i rise the uh, voltages by making it 55 as you can see i make it 55 you should have get a over voltage fault so as i run the system you can see fault please reset that is over voltage fault okay so now let's say if i make it again 50 and this time i will try to rise the temperature so that i can check if the temperature is working or not so you can see my system is working so i'll start rising the temperature that is 20 okay so it is saying um, the temperature limit that i have set that is 20 degree scale you can set any temperature limit you want so this is fault please reset over temperature okay so in the third case i'll try to increase the load so let me first decrease the voltages back to its level as you can see that um, as i run it you can see the system is running and it will show you 1.72 amps so let's say if i make my ohms let's say 20 ohms so i may as i make my ohms 20 ohms as you know as you increase the um, as you increase the uh, decrease the resistance the current will increase and this means the um, system must get a over current fault okay so these are basically all the all the kinds of fault that you will get so now let's say if i make it uh, 30 again like this and i'll show you how the bms will work so as you can see that it is showing 50 1.72 amp 86 amps now let's say if i in start decreasing the voltages so you can see that the state of health and state of charge will be effective accordingly okay as you can see state of charge is decreasing but state of health is remaining the same